What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my Steam Siege collection. So, this is just the Ultra Rare collection. I did manage to finish XY Evolutions. And in my XY Evolutions video, I was talking about my Steam Siege collection. About how I'm expecting one more card in the mail. So today that card did come in, which is very, very exciting. So now that I can actually say that I finished my whole Steam Siege collection. Uh, I'm still looking for the best deal to get that Umbreon EX Full Art card to finish my Fates Collide collection. But for now, we'll just focus on some Steam Siege. And I'm not just going to be opening up. Sorry, I'm not just going to be showing off my Steam Siege binder. After I'm finished showing my, you guys my Steam Siege binder. Oh. Apologies for that. Uh, after I finish showing you guys my Steam Siege binder, I'm also going to be opening up one Rebel Clash booster pack. And one sword and shield booster pack so i'll have those off to the side so for now let's take a little look at my steam seed collection binder just flip to the page right before sun and moon steam siege. okay right here Let's move around a few things. Take this. And then these down here. Okay. Move my chair up a little bit. Alright. Here we go. Alright guys, sorry I'm in a mess of my figures. So let's take a little look. These are from Fates Collide, these three cards. Now, let's start off Steam Siege. So first, we got our Yama Break. This is a World Champion card. I'm looking to get the real version of the card. And then have a World Champion binder. Next is Talon Flame Break. Very nice card, not very expensive. None of the breaks really are. The cheapest break, I believe, is Carving Break. Which I believe is also part of the Fates Collide collection. Next up, we got Pyro Break, the card that just came in. Very excited to own this card. Next up is Volcanium EX. Not a lot of people like Steam Siege, but I actually prefer to like this set. Other than Volcanion, I, I kind of think Volcanion is the worst mythical Pokemon in the world. Sorry, worse, not worth. Next up is Klarzer Break. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. And that, finally on this page is the Yveltal Break. So that's it for this page. Next up, we got the Steelix EX. And we got the Shiny Mega Steelix EX. And we got Magirna EX. This is also a World Champion card looking for the real version. Next up, we got Gardevoir EX and Shiny Mega Gardevoir. It seems to be that Steelix and Gardevoir get shiny forms after they make a evolve. So next up, we got a Gizernius Break from the Veltal one. It's really cool to have both of them, really, because they're counterparts. Next up, we have Hydrogen Break. Hydragon, I believe that's the pronunciation for it. And now that we actually finished the uh, collection of it, let's go to the uh, end one where it shows all the full arts. We got Volcanian EX Full Art, Mega Steelix EX Full Art. Oh no, sorry, not Mega Steelix. Steelix EX Full Art. But well, I believe we're coming to that. We got Mega Steelix EX Full Art, Magirna EX Full Art. Gardevoir EX Full Art, Shiny Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art, Pokey Ranger uh, Full Art, Professor Skyamore Full Art, our Secret Rare Volcanian EX Full Art with Xerneas on it, and finally, our Secret Rare Gardevoir EX Full Art with Eveltal. I'm not really sure what to put right here. I start Sun and Moon off on the next page, so there's nothing really that I can go in here. Comment down below what you think, which card should go here. Maybe uh, not a promo, because promos got their own spots. It has to be something that maybe an event. I'm probably thinking of putting the Ancient Mew there. Or any cards that would come out with the Zarud movie coming out in Japan. So now that i finished showing y'all my Steam Siege collection, we'll do a little overview and then we'll, overview and then we'll get into the booster packs.
We'll place that over there. All right, next, just my mic. Uh, we're going to be opening up the sword and shield one, so let's get back the tripod. Move that up a little bit. Adjust this. Apologies for all of this, guys. I usually can't do this. All right, here we go. So now let's open up first. Sword and shield. We got a lap press on the inside. Put that over there. Card off to the side. One, two, three. One, two. And then this would be our energy. This is our rare and this is our hollow. So we'll take our energy, place that there for now. And we'll put the uncommon at the front, I guess. Galvantula. Quick Ball. Energy Search. Galarian Zigzagoon. Sizzlepede. Chinchow. Ball Toy. Fluffint. Water Type Energy. Rhyhorn and our rare Zaman Zesa V. Oh my God! If only we got the full art version, the gold one. That would be the best. But uh, I guess this one we'll have to do for now. We'll reach for a sleeve. Right off the bat, can we get another one? Maybe another rare card in our Rebel Clash booster pack. Who knows? All right, guys. We're moving on. Rebel Clash. Look over there. Inside has a Cinderace. Foot card off the side. Okay, for this one, let's do a little bit of something different. We go one, two, three, one. Our energy this will be our rare let's put our hollow in front our energy over our rare and our three commons right after our hollow let's try new different uh card methods so we got a reverse hollow heat lore our curse level that's one of our uh uncommons mascoridin and double blade those are our uncommons now are just common toxel Rongzong, applin glarian derimaka bundle bay psychic type energy and a zaman zenta Wait, okay, I'll accept that. That's pretty cool. We got a rare Zaman Zenta, and we got our Zaman Zenta V. One from Rebel Clash, and one from Sword and Shield base set. So, all right, guys, and I'll get back to y'all next time. Bye.